Hey everybody, welcome to yet another video here on the Washington Football Maniacs channel. My name is Greg and welcome. If you're new here, thank you for joining us. Please consider if you want to support this channel, subscribe to this channel. I can always use your subscriptions. And with that said, let's try to see if we can get into today's video. So today, you know, we want to kind of start turning our attentions toward the draft a little bit, especially the first round. Now, I haven't really focused a lot on the draft as of yet. You know, it seemed like before free agency, before the talk of who's going to be the quarterback for this team before Carson Wentz and all of that, we were mostly focused on the draft, especially the first round, uh, going to some quarterback in this year's draft. And it was kind of one of those things where we were thinking that, you know, this was going to be somewhat of a, why, why, why does it have to be this year that we have to draft a quarterback? You know, because the thing is, Next year's draft is going to be so much deeper. You don't necessarily have to draft a quarterback in the first round to pick up a good, solid quarterback who could really become your starter. <clears throat> and, um, you know, there are some good quality quarterbacks, certainly, uh, that are going to uh, contribute to teams this year, but they're, they're few and far between, right? So, you know, this year it is it is one of those things where it's like, if you got the opportunity to draft one of these quarterbacks, you better do it. And so it's kind of one of those situations where now that Washington has picked up Carson Wentz, who is a relatively young quarterback, he's only been in a league for, what, five years, five seasons. And he, you know, he, he has played, for the most part, he, he's been a really good quarterback. He's had some ups and downs, as we all know. But now it kind of sort of changes things. He's not necessarily viewed as a bridge quarterback because here's the thing. Ron Rivera didn't really go into this offseason saying, we need to get another bridge quarterback like Ryan Fitzpatrick. No, he was going into this offseason saying, we need to find our quarterback, meaning we need to find a franchise quarterback. So being a franchise quarterback that they hope that Carson Wentz can maybe be. I don't think that they were bringing Carson Wentz in to be a bridge quarterback. I think the hopes was he's a good, solid quarterback. Whatever issues that he may have, if we can work those issues out, he can be here for the long haul. And, you know, Ron Rivera says he believes in, he believes in Carson Wentz. He wants him here. You are wanted here. That's what he kept saying to Carson Wentz. And so if that's the case then it kind of changes the complexion of what Washington does, you know, in this year's draft. Now, especially in the first round, Washington, I don't think necessarily needs to go after some of these quarterbacks. And if some of these quarterbacks, Willis, some of those guys like that, if they are actually available, do you go ahead and draft them anyway? I would say probably 70% of commanders fans would probably say yes you do and I'm kind of on the fence of that I'm like you know maybe you do uh, but you know the more I think about it the more I'm like you know we could use another all-star wide receiver and you know Terry McLaurin we're trying to lock him up as well we don't necessarily need to to lock him up this year but I would definitely start those those talks and those conversations this year you, you need to make sure that he has a future here in Washington, but to have somebody else that's on that level of Terry McLaurin on the other side, that's just going to make Carson Wentz even better. And then you have Logan Thomas there, um, you know, John Bates, who I think is going to turn out to be a fine, solid tight end as well. And then, you know, our guys out of the backfield, uh, Gibson and McKissick, who can catch passes out of the backfield as well. I mean, you're really starting to see some weapons. And so I haven't even touched on if, if, if Curtis Samuel can be healthy and if, if, if Diami Brown can develop and become the wide receiver that we hope that he could possibly be. So I still say, you know, maybe that 
first round draft pick, that number 11, they go after a wide receiver. You know, a wide receiver, I don't know, maybe an all star cornerback. Um, I feel like they can always use more help at corner. You know, Washington, they. They never seem to have that shut down corner. You know, I mean, they always seem to have guys who have that potential, but never the shut down corner, right? I, I've seen some uh, messages on Twitter where people are like, you know, they're going to go homicidal if Washington drafts another linebacker in the first round. Um, yeah, you know, that's not the sexy draft pick, I'm sure. You know, and, and they some people feel like we got kind of burnt drafting uh, Jamie Davis last year in the first round because, you know, he didn't really show a lot of first-round talent last year on the field. I, I haven't given up on him one bit. I, I think I think that he can certainly develop into something special, uh, but he's going to have to start showing us something a lot more, you know, on the field this year. But uh, overall, I think now that we have Carson Wentz on the team, I think – Things have changed as far as how we're looking at the draft. If we do pick up a rookie, and Rivera has said they want a rookie quarterback on this team, no matter who he gets as quarterback, starting quarterback. And you know, um, Kyle Allen is not here, no longer here. So you have Taylor Heineke. You're going to have to get another quarterback in here, that, that third stringer. Um, Rivera would assume it would be a, a rookie quarterback. So if he does draft somebody, it might be somebody who's undrafted. It might be uh, somebody in a, a later round. Um, I don't think it would necessarily be somebody in that first round. I really don't. I think he's going to use that first rounder for another skilled player to help out Carson Wentz. So that said, you let me know in the comments what you think. What's Washington going to do with that number 11th spot, that number 11th pick? in the first round again if you're enjoying this channel please consider subscribing uh, like this video share it with your buddies uh, leave me a comment let's talk about it see see what we can do to make things better all right take care folks have a great day and i will see you in the next one